Okay. All right. Hi guys, this video is brought to you by MSI and today we are going to do a setup, installation and review of the Nano Leaf with the MSI Ambient Link. MSI has sent us the Trident A Plus gaming desktop along with the Optics Mac 27CQ LED gaming monitor. So we're going to unbox these bad boys and have a look at them before we set up our Ambient Link. All right, so out of the box, this is an Intel Core i7 with a 2060 Super Ventus GP. And there are two versions to this, all right? There's a full black on cover and there's also a see-through tempered glass cover. Uh, and this is one of the most uh, compact gaming PCs, as you can see. Everything is fitted right into here, as you can see. But we will see more with our tempered glass to show off more of the RGB lighting, which we will do right now. This is our LED gaming monitor. As you can see, the LED strips are on the back. And this is a curved monitor, so it has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. So this is a VA panel with a refresh rate of 144 hertz. And the resolution is at 1440p. So let's just set up this bad boy up. All right, so now it's time to light up this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Already so many colors. So I'm about to set up my Nano Leaf on the wall, but before that, you would need the Dragon Center, which you can just download off the web. And while we wait for that to set up, we will set up our Nano Leaf. All right, so over here, we got our Nano Leaf. Now we have a nine panel square Nano Leaf design. So with nine panels, I'm not the most creative person out there, but I think we can do like a tree, tree, tree. A tree by tree, yeah. We can do a, a simple tree by tree design, right? We have nine panels. We have the linkers here that look like SIM cards. And we got the tape for us to put it on the wall. And we've got our power brick right here. We have one power brick, okay. So all we need to do now is just arrange things accordingly. And that's how you link your nano leaf panels. So the cool thing about this is that it actually tells you where to place your tapes on the panel. So you wouldn't get lost. Alright, so it's time for us to mount the light panels onto our wall. Got a leveler just to be precise, you know. Gotta make it at least look nice, alright. Make sure that it's not too high. So you just mount it, just hold it there for a while while the tape sinks into the wall. Just make sure that every corner is placed in. You wouldn't want your panel to fall down. Alright, so I finally set up my Nano Leaf. I wanted to do a tree by tree. Then halfway, I was like, you know what? Let's not be too boring. So once you set up your Nano Leaf, all you have to do is just connect it to your phone to get it started, right? So there should be a QR code on your product. You just scan that. You add it to your home devices so that you can always control it. And once you've installed the app on your phone, you can actually control it all on your phone. For let's say, example, I want a forest. Bang. That's a forest right there. Let's just say I want Northern Lights. Let's see Northern Lights. Aha. I think we should turn off the room light to see how it really turns out, yeah? Can we turn off the room lights? All right, so now that we've got this thing activated, the next thing we need to do is to connect it to our MSI Dragon Center. Now, this is where things get pretty interesting. The first thing you do is make sure you install the latest updated version of MSI Dragon Center. And before you do anything, make sure to add on your Mystic Light. So there will be a list of drivers for you to install. Uh, Mystic Light will be one of them. So make sure you install Mystic Light so that it will appear on your homepage. Over here, there's gaming mode, there's user scenario, monitor, true color, land manager, and Mystic Light. Mystic Light is technically how you want your computer to look like when you are actually gaming, right? So what we want to do here is to link our computer to the Nano Leaf and not just that, we want our nano leaf lights to react accordingly to what's happening in the game. 
right? So what we do here is that we connect with Ambient Link. Ambient Link can connect to any smart device. May it be a Nano Leaf or even a Philips Hue. All right, so since we got our Nano Leaf here, let's connect our canvas right here. So for you to connect your Nano Leaf via Ambient Link, you would have to press and hold the power button to connect it. So let's do it right now. All right, press and hold the power button for five to seven seconds until the LEDs flash in a pattern. Okay, let's do it. Let's have it. Power button for five to seven seconds. Is that it? Is it connected? Oh yes, it does say. So it finally says connection completed. Oh, that's sweet. All right, so on our game mode here, we have all of our games and we are making sure that it's synced in with the Dragon Center. And of course, the game that I'll be talking about today is Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And if you're watching this video right now, you stand a chance to win the Monster Hunter World Iceborne because you know why? Because I'm giving away 10 free game codes. That's right. So. Uh, stick around to the end of the video to find out how you're going to get it. If you want to customize and enhance your gaming experience even more, all you have to do is just click on the game title and it will lead you to this page where you can even customize the colors even more. So for example, this is what my desktop, the Nano Leaf, would look like if it was in loading. And if you want to customize, you can actually change it to blue or even green. But uh, it won't show up just yet. So this is what it will show when you are loading. Then all you have to do is just click apply. So we are going to log into the game right now, but you know how I usually play my games? I like to play in the dark. So I'm going to show you how this looks like in the dark. Alright guys, so as you can see, the Nano Leaf is automatically connected to the game. And it's if I'm looking at the blue sky, it shows up blue. It even shows up on the PC itself. It's all connected. So technically, it's just an, a way enhanced version of gaming experience, you know? Is my portion. Footsteps. So I literally went on one biggest side quest. Jeez. Okay. Oh crap, my health. Ah! Why was no one telling me about my health? Come on, come on, come on, come on. When is this ever guy gonna die? Alright guys, so we've come to the end of this video and once again, I would like to thank MSI for making this video happen. Hopefully you guys at home learn a thing or two about how to connect your Nano Leaf to your desktop via the Ambient link. So hopefully now your gaming experience is nothing short of epic. So once again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, we'll be giving away 10 game codes for the Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So all you have to do is these few steps. Follow us on Instagram at TitanGamersOfficial, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also answer on our latest Instagram post, what was the last monster that I hunted? All right, you gotta rewatch the video to find it out. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Do let us know in the comment section below what other games you'd like us to see us play with the Nano Leaf. In the meantime, see you guys. Bye-bye.